Hello and welcome to our next lecture, my second lecture. Yesterday I gave a lecture on the first order first degree differential equation. Yesterday we understand what is the first order first degree differential equation, order and degree of the equation, then all the method how to solve with all the methods, first order first degree differential equation. Then I will uh, explain the first very simple method, variable separable method. We have to separate easily the variable x and y and then integrate it. Today I have to teach you the second topic homogeneous homogeneous differential equation of first order first degree. Okay, so Homogeneous, what is the meaning of word homogeneous? Homogeneous, in simple way, whatever you learn in your differential equation that if any differential equation having x and y terms, function of x and y, then the, that in that function of x and y, power of y and power of x both have the same power. For example, if we have dy by dx is equal to x square y then in the denominator we also have like x square y plus y cube is this homogeneous function yes because here power of x is 2 and y is 1 means this term power is 3 this term power is 3 and this term power is 3. So this is homogeneous function. Homogeneous function of x and y where the variables powers is the same. So now we proceed how to solve with this homogeneous differential equation. First we take it's little bit longer. Solution is a little bit longer. First we take a very simple solution then you can understand how to solve the uh, homogeneous differential equation. So I took very easy example just uh, we consider dy by dx equal to y by x okay. So dy by dx is y by x this is the variable separable also we can solve by dx by dx so we can choose any another other question dy minus x by x. Now you see we can separate its variable y by x minus of x. If we can't then we use the second method homogeneous. Now we see the degrees of all terms y having 1, x having 1, this having 1. This is also first order first degree. So we proceed for homogeneous. For in homogeneous we have to remove this y put y is equal to any other variable in terms of x vx y is equal to vx if y is equal to vx then if we integrate with respect to differentiate sorry with respect to y means d by dx of y so what is this d by dx of v and x also we integrate with the product rule first function v as it is d by dx of x d by dx of x is 1 we all know then x as it is dv by dx so our result is v plus x dv by dx is equal to dy by dx in any book you just see First they put y is equal to vx, then direct result is dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx. So many many students they don't know how to come from there to there. It's very easy differential calculus that you have to derive. Both are the variables so you have to differentiate both v and x with respect to uh, d by dx. So this is, so in this equation 1 we have to substitute dy by dx at the place of dy by dx. We substitute v plus x dv by dx at the place of y we substitute vx. Okay, so I have to remove these things for right further at the place of dy by dx v plus x dv by dx equal to vx minus x divided by x. 
after the substitution, we simplify. Now it becomes a variable separable in V and X. See here, in this term, here we separate the X, V minus 1, divide by X, V plus X, BV by DX. X and X cancel, V goes there, we took the LCM, DV by DX is equal to V minus 1 and then plus of V or minus of V? This is plus V is minus of V. So this is plus V minus V cancel X DV by DX is equal to only minus of 1, only the constant. Now it's very simple to solve it. How we can solve? This dv by dv is equal to minus of dx upon x. See, it's variable separable. So, differential integration of v is v and this is minus of log x plus c constant of integration. So, next Again, V is what? V, we have to substitute with Y and X. Because Y is equal to here. Y is equal to VX. Then V is equal to Y by X. You should remember at the end, you always substitute the value of V in terms of Y and X. If you give the answer in the V term, that your answer is not considerable completely. Solution, solution is not considerable. So you substitute the value of V here. So this is Y by X is equal to minus of log X plus C. C is integration constant. You, you rewrite it again minus log X either this side or this side. This is your solution. So it's the most simplest example for the homogeneous differential equation. There are the ways. First, what is we have to see that this is homogeneous or not. It, it will be homogeneous. You substitute y in terms of x and one another way that whatever is easy. If we have substitute, we can substitute x also x in terms of y. Means x is equal to v of y. If you are this dy by dx at the place of dy by dx, we have dx by dy. Like that you have to consider, you have to decide which uh, which uh, uh, have to we have to substitute which substitution will be going on after substitution you see that it will be converted into variable separable simply variable separable when we solve at the end we can substitute again this v y is equal to v x means v is equal to y by x in terms if you substitute x is equal to v y then v is equal to x upon y we should remember whatever your substitution and then at the end you will give the solution. So this is the homogeneous differential equation. I can explain some more examples but there is no difficulty just its process is very long even first we have to uh, substitute the value of y then again in variable separable then again resubstitute value of v in terms of y and x and then give the answer so just process is longer but not very difficult it is very easy if you can solve by your hand it's very very easy some other examples for example if question is x plus y dy by dx minus 2y is equal to 0. Now first of all we have to see is it, is it variable separable? No. We can't able to solve uh, as a variable separable. We can't able to separate its variable. Then we go for the second part. Is it homogeneous? Then we have to arrange this equation in terms of dy by dx. If we have to arrange dy by dx, this is 2y minus of x divided by y. 2y minus of x divided by y. So, yes, now we can see it is homogeneous. Homogeneous because by power of y is 1, power of x is 1, power of y is 1. All terms have same equal powers. So, it is homogeneous. In homogeneous, then we have to substitute y is equal to vx. Same, substitute y is equal to vx. 
dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx you should remember that terms you can directly substitute if you don't remember you can differentiate it and then substitute it after substitution you have to separate the variable in terms of v and x integrate it and at the end you have to substitute v is equal to y by x and give the final solution so that's all that's enough about the homogeneous differential equation today i am covering third topic also that is reducible to homogeneous linear equation means some equation which are not seems to be homogeneous but when we substitute something we have to re reduce in homogeneous form after that method is same we have to solve like same method at the end again whatever we substitute for reducing the homogeneous again apply that substitution in the final answer whatever the main variable in the given question at the end final answer our variable are the same you should remember the things that variable of given question and variable of the answers are same either question are given in the x and y and you give the answer in the v that is wrong you should remember substitute the variable v in terms of x and y so some third topic is